Hi everyone, thank you for watching. My name is Nick. My name is Anthony. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. So today we're going to talk about the time that we went into an exhibition that was showcasing an accessible home. It was suggested to us from a peer counselor in the rehab center in Switzerland. Switzerland. So we took some clips during our visit. They tied and here they are. So we came to see an exhibition. We don't really know what to expect. It's like going through. Hello? Hey, you lady. Hey, already? Great, Stefan is on his way. Stefan! Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, hi there. Please come in. Welcome, welcome. Where is everyone? They're here. Really? Matteo? Coming. Sorry, but you have to see this. This guy is so funny. Hi everyone. We're the best flatmates ever. So the exhibition is that they take us on a tour into an accessible apartment with four people. Which is quite amazing to see. Do you like this office? Yeah. Yeah. My measure is right. <laughs> yeah. And what does it do here? This is a mouth, I think. Oh, this is for the pen? Yeah, this is for the pen. Oh, 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 this is for the so the exhibition is asking me to sit on my chair and it happens to be pink. <laughs> Nick is so excited. <laughs> it's going up. Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> wow. This is an accessible bathroom. And here it's showing, because um, there's four people living in the apartment. So they're showing, depending on their level of injury, the type of catheters they're using, which is so enlightening. So good. In this exhibition, it's very interesting because you can see four people with four different levels of injuries. They talk about their uh, routine every day, the accessible rooms. It was very helpful for me because one of the four persons, it was about the same level with me. And I had the chance to go inside his room and see how it's his room with his normal double big bed instead of the boring electric <laughs> bed. It's and not boring. Yes, and this gave me a lot of confidence because in a few years or maybe months or maybe days, I would be able to sleep with my beautiful wife uh, to a big, massive, big. double <laughs> bed. So it was quite um, extraordinary for me to see, you know, how the needs change depending on the level of injury as yeah. well. Because, you know, when you have an injury or, you know, my husband or a family member or a friend has an injury, you're more familiar with the specific level of, of injury, injury than the others. Because yeah. this is the one that you research on. And yeah, exactly. it was quite interesting to see uh, what changes in uh, terms of what people use and the equipment that they need and how they had input their personality into their space. Obviously these people don't live there and I say that because I honestly hope 
they were staying there and they were like renting out their apartment for the day yeah. <laughs> so people can visit Long day. <laughs> but it was just you know that they had basically provided their input yeah. for the exhibition to be possible so that gave us a lot of information about how we're going to design our own home when we go back oh so what nicer than being in switzerland in summer to a rehab center not yeah. really <laughs> we are in a rehab so we must we are actually we are in a hospital so after the surgery they gave me an electric wheelchair so we had i had the power to go outside and see because when i was at the winter it was very cold a lot of rounds around the re rehab it was very nice yeah because the rehab is near the lake yeah and we're going around and we'll watch so much more people this time around yeah. <laughs> hello So what happens at the rehab center, the National Wheelchair Rugby Team is training there and uh, they train there I think every Tuesday and, and Thursday. Thursday. Yep. And we... So you're eating pizza and watching the rugby match? Yeah. It's actually practice. A little bit, a little bit violent. So Nick is gonna try and sit on a wheelchair to play rugby. Excited? Yeah. Let's see what happens. So this the before. So Nick got cancelled because he has just done the surgery. So it was he wasn't allowed to do it. Maybe next time or never. Mm. Also, the rehab center has a field that you can train with your hand bike. It's very interesting. And also it has like a personal gym that it's for the train the Swiss Paralympic athletes there. It, it was very nice to see this equipment and how they train. This two weeks in Switzerland, because I had the surgery, I had a lot of pain some days because all the nerve system is bothered. So I had the temperature, I was getting cold and my beautiful wife <laughs> done me like snowman. Troll print. I can be a snowman <laughs> and another play. <laughs> or like a Greek yeah. dolma. Greek dolma. <laughs> so the biggest event, of course, in these two weeks, it was the birthday of my wife. Yes, every day she was telling me what you will do for my birthday. I tell her, don't worry, don't stress. Actually, until 14, 14 of August, I didn't know what I would do. July, yeah. <laughs> oh, so this morning that it was 15 of July <laughs> the nurse came in the morning and I said to her today we must prepare for my beautiful wife I need balloons and a big paper because we are in a hospital of course she bought me balloons by gloves but it was very nice at the yeah. end so we done a nice small party with a lot of sweets uh, yes Nick ordered so many Strawberry tarts, which are my favorite yeah. dessert. And I remember I went in the morning and, the and I knocked on the door and they weren't ready. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Don't come inside. Prince? For what? What is all this? Chuck, are you happy birthday? Aren't you the sweetest person in the whole wide world? You can see your cake also. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> Balloons? Yeah. Aww. Aww. Thank you. But it was the sweetest thing and we had a great lunch out on the balcony 
And I was so sad the day before because first of all we weren't allowed to leave the room because for, we are I we, we were, were isolated. isolated. And that's why Nick prepared this amazing lunch out of his balcony and we overlooked the lake and we had curry and it was forecasted rain for the day and for those of you who are from greece or other been to greece they know that july in greece is so hot so it was so much more different for yeah. me because as soon as we finished with our lunch it started raining but i have to say that it was one of my most memorable birthdays because well actually it's the first birthday that i celebrate as a married woman yeah. to this beautiful handsome man so he did it again as he does every year and he uh, made it a special day even though he doesn't remember the month of my birthday yeah <laughs> another thing that i will never forget from uh, this rehab center in switzerland it's that, like you remember in the last videos, <laughs> the fake feta, now we we'll present to you the, the fake, fake burger. burger. <laughs> yes, it was. You can see it at the video and you can laugh very much. So, yeah. so the comments are okay. yours. <laughs> so, a last dinner at Switzerland. It's, we saw at the menu, cheeseburger and we thought that they were bringing us a cheeseburger like with bread bread the burger and cheese but obviously maybe here in swiss they eat the freaking cheeseburger like that <laughs> with not bread <laughs> so we call that the Swiss, Swiss burger. burger. <laughs> so that was it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs, thumbs up. Comment below. Follow us on Instagram. And subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. And share it on social media. And everywhere, everywhere you want. And we'll, we'll see, see you in the, the next one. one. Bye. Bye.